All right, let's take a look at how to change the hot end on the Bamboo X1 Carbon. And the first step is to come to the back here to the orange button and turn it off. All right, so the next step is to remove the cover and just prop it up to the side. And then you're gonna be removing these three connectors. Pass them out of this wire organizer. Now we're going to loosen these two bolts using a two millimeter Allen key. assembly is out. So now that you've gotten the hot end off, there's two scenarios. Either you bought a hot end without the ceramic heater and the thermistor already installed, or you bought a complete hot end assembly. If you bought a complete hot end assembly, you can skip to the next chapter and you basically just replace this with the one that you just took off. But let's take a look at how to swap all of these components onto the other hot end. We're going to start by removing the fan, which is a two millimeter Allen key. And now it's two bolts, the fan is off. So that's step one. And then the next step is to remove this silicone sock. Oh, and we just removed the metal clip that goes with it. Let's try and see if we can move backwards on that. You should try to remove it a little bit more carefully than I just did. But this is meant to stay on. There's a little detent where it should stay all the way on. But once that sock is off, the next step would be to remove this clip and you can just pull that right off. And then we have the ceramic heater that comes off like that. Set that aside. And then we have the thermistor. I want to be careful with this guy, but that's just in that hole there on the side. Probably easier to use something like some needle nose pliers or some tweezers, and you can just pull it out. And we'll set that aside also. So there you go, now you got the bare hot end. This one's a 0 0.4. And we'll swap all these components onto the other hot end that we have here, which is a 0 0.2. There's a few locating features on this hot end. There's the thermistor hole on the left. So if that's on your left, then you know that the face facing you is the, the face you want to put the ceramic heater on. Um, also, the larger fins are going to be on the right. And so then you know where you are and you kind of have your bearings that way. So we're going to take some thermal grease and we're just going to squeeze that away from the top here. So we don't get it all over our fingers right off the bat. And then we're gonna cut it open. There's this little little tab where you can dispense from. So we'll just cut that off. And then they tell you in the manual to use a Q-tip. So we'll just get some of that out. onto a Q-tip. So we want to get this on the face of the hot end. And then also 
so I'm in that hole. There we go. All right, so now that that's applied, we can discard this Q-tip. So the thermistor's in, we've routed up the side here. We're gonna put the ceramic heater just down to that groove. So we kind of have a, some locating features in the hot end, which is nice. Those are both in. And then we can put the clip on, so the clip has this little tab on the front and these reliefs on the side to allow the thermistor to have room. And you just slide that on until it won't go any further. You don't push too hard. That's what that looks like. And now we put the silicone sock back on. And so you've got the hole at the end and you got the relief for these wires that are sticking out. You don't have that on the other side. And we can just All right, so that's all pushed on the silicone. I made sure that's all the way up at the top and made sure that those the rubber goes around the end here. And the last step is just to put the fan back on the side here. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, there we go. Now that everything is secured back onto a hot end, we can put this on the printer. To reassemble, we're gonna do what we did earlier, but in reverse. So pop the hot end up, put in the two bolts. And then we can reinsert these connectors. There we go, they're all through the cable management. They're all seated all the way. And now we can just put the cover back on. There you go, your hot end's replaced.